This presentation talks about the chain of custody. And the context in which we're talking about chain of custody is the computer forensics area. So what is the chain of custody? It, it is the chronological list of individuals who have had the evidence and the location where the evidence has been. This is a critical piece of an investigation and its evidence. Every piece of evidence obtained during an investigation should have a chain of custody document to support its ownership and location. Now here's the technical viewpoint. From a technical point of view, there is more to chain of custody than maintaining a document. Physical evidence must be documented before moving or touching any of the evidence. Exhaustive digital photos from all angles should be taken. For any digital photos, you should store them on a USB drive or an SD card that is then admitted as evidence. A narrative description should be made and then also admitted as evidence. It is best if the narrative description is both an audio recording which can be done on a digital recorder and saved as an mp3 file and also you need a written narrative to accompany it. The cables and cords. Any time a cable is removed or just moved in general from a suspect's system, care must be taken to document where the cable came from and where it went to. So before you move anything, first, digital photos are important. Take pictures of all cables and the ports and receptacles that they went into. A written description is also necessary. Computer peripherals. Any and all computer peripherals must be recorded. Take digital photos of all computer peripherals. These include keyboards, printers, and possibly digital cameras, and so forth. Create a description for all computer peripherals. This will include an audio version of your narrative, a written version of your narrative. This should also include type, make, model, condition, and any other relevant information that you note about the peripherals. The main computer. A complete description of the main computer unit must be made. This must include photos and audio and written evidence as with all other aspects of the investigation. Important information should include make and model of the unit, color, size, and physical attributes, apparent condition, and apparent internal components such as CD and floppy drives and possibly network cards. The chain of custody is pivotal for your case. Getting the technical aspects of the chain of custody is very important. You must be prepared to present irrefutable accounting with regards to the technical aspects of the chain of custody.